Happy Never Miss a Monday workout. Here at Naturally Shawnee's, we never miss a Monday workout. And today, I'm doing something a little bit different. I'm sharing a vlog with you. And this vlog is going to tell you all about my journey to lose 15 pounds. Are you ready? Let's go. Hi curl friends, welcome to Naturally Shawnice. I'm Shawnice, your favorite curl friend and mom bestie, guiding you through your natural but healthy hair journey. When I'm not sharing my natural hair journey tips, hair tutorials, and tricks, I really want to share more of what it is to be Naturally Shawnice. And for me, that's my lifestyle, that's my fitness, definitely fitness and things like eating healthy and motherhood. So today, I'm taking you on a vlog to really show you guys how I'm gonna lose 15 pounds. Now before you come for me, if you follow me on Instagram, you guys are probably gonna say, girl, you don't need to lose 15 pounds, sis. Like, you look good. You're nice and thick and round and in the right places. But the truth really is, I really do need to lose 15 pounds, you guys. I am not one for the scale at all. Uh, but I do know that when I start to weigh 190, 192, that means I am, for me, overweight and I'm carrying extra weight. And I think it's really important for, at least my view on fitness, is that if I don't feel good and I feel heavy, that's my body telling me that I am not healthy or I'm getting to an unhealthy state. So what does that mean? That means that I really need to bear down and I really do need to drop this 15 pounds. Like I said, I'm 190 right now. I really would like to be at 175. And my goal really isn't to be skinny or to have a six pack. I mean, I'm 37 years old. Like for me to be really skinny and for me to get a six pack would require so much work. And to be honest with you guys, I'm really not I'm not here for that amount of work that I would have to do. It would be like, I couldn't live, I couldn't breathe, I could literally only eat like air and fish or whatnot. So my goal in sharing this journey with you and my process to lose 15 pounds really is to show you that if you are above the age of 35, if you are a mother or even just a busy woman as we all are, you can actually lose weight without having to go get a BBL, without having to go get lipo, without having to go you know, drink your flat tummy teas, all of these contraptions, just like this mentality of quick weight loss. So this fitness journey of mine to lose 15 pounds is really gonna take me about 15 weeks. My goal is to lose a pound a week. All right, we're gonna hop on this scale. Here we go. I have to be fully transparent. I don't even wanna see this number. I swear I weigh 190. 195.4. So it looks like I actually need to lose 20 pounds because my goal weight is 175. Okay, so, <laughs> wow, I'm big. Now I'm going to show you what exactly, you know, I'm wearing this robe. I'm gonna show you what I look like underneath this because accountability is everything. Okay, are we ready? Oh. No, I'm just kidding guys, I'm being dramatic. All right, so let's take off this robe so that you can see, you know, I have to hold myself accountable. So here we are. This is literally unedited. This is me in the flesh, in the raw, being naturally shiny. So let me show you where I wanna concentrate at and where I think the 15 pounds needs to come from, okay? So first things first, I have this right here. This is giving 37 years old. I don't know. I really can't believe that I'm showing you guys this. So as you can see, look at this pouch here. I have a full on belly and these love handles are not the move. I have a fupa. If you get in closer, now you can really see I'm carrying extra weight in my stomach. I know that this is problematic when you get into your 40s or really late 30s for women. And I want, I need, I don't want to, I need to get a hold of this. In my back, you can see here the rolls and back fat. All right, I'm here at Wegmans. I'm about to go in and get my groceries for the week. I think I'm gonna do this by week 
and um, that way I don't have too much and I don't waste and then I just like cook everything that I have now for this week and then next Sunday I'm gonna come back that's how I think I'm gonna attack this but we'll see so we're just gonna go through I'm gonna show you guys the foods that I'm gonna be picking up first things first we'll get some avocados let me make sure oh these are perfect we're gonna get some strawberries my kids okay I try to make eating healthy as easy as possible and for me that's getting all of my vegetables pre-cut it's just easier for me to prep the food that way um, it's a little bit more expensive but I feel like I save on the time especially the time that it takes to prep so and of course I can't forget my essential water it's the only water that I drink <laughs> And it's my favorite. Okie dokie. Here's what hopefully 20 pounds lighter looks like. Some of this is for my family too, like the cheeses and stuff. But this is what she's going to be given. There we go. 20 pounds lighter. Back from the grocery store, here are all my groceries for the week. You guys, I'm, I must admit, I'm starting to get a little bit of anxiety or like disbelief. Like, can I really lose 20 pounds? Like, do I really want to do this? But I know that I do. It's going to be difficult, especially with this diet because, yeah, food is good. Anyhow, so before I get started into food prep and what I'm going to do to prep myself for the week, do me a favor. Actually, do yourself a favor. If you like this video so far and this vlog, go ahead. First of all, subscribe to the YouTube channel and then leave a comment or a question about weight loss. I plan on bringing on other content creators, trainers who are much, much more knowledgeable in the area of losing weight, weight management, and healthy living than I am. This is just my journey and things that I know for, for certain that would help work to help me lose this 20 pounds. All right, so leave your comments, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Let's get into this prep work now. Here's how I do my food process. It takes about two hours to prep. I start off pouring out all the chopped veggies and I roast them at 450. The standard seasoning on my veggies are salt, pepper, Wegmans basting oil, onion powder, garlic powder, and red chili flakes. While that's roasting at 450, I then move on to the meats, and in this case, I'm seasoning the salmon with this Jamaican jerk seasoning, and then you could use it on shrimp. Then I bring the temperature down in the oven, and I take out the roasted vegetables, 350, pop the salmon in. While the salmon's cooking, that's when I take up these chopped um, sweet potatoes, I add the espresso vanilla, the cinnamon, and I rub it all over to make sure that this mixture gets on each one of the sweet potatoes. When the salmon's done, I then pop the sweet potatoes in the oven okay, so and let those cook. Okay, so this is my scale. We're going to turn it on here and we're going to measure it in ounces. Can you guys see that? I think you can. So right now we're at zero ounces and I want this to be four ounces. Let's see. And so here you can see the numbers are creeping up. And again, this just takes a little bit of time. Three, nine, five, four. Okay, we'll do four or five because I probably should be doing that. Okay, there we go. And then you take Here's a food prep tip. Um, cook your vegetables or cook whatever is at the highest oven temperature. Then you don't have to worry about heating your temperature up and you just bring your temperature down for the rest of your food. So in this case, that's when I did the, uh, I did all my vegetables first at 450 and then I brought them down. I did the sweet potatoes, I did the meat, and then um, you know you just kind of keep it like a revolving door. That's how I do it. Here I'm going through, you can see the sweet potatoes. Um, there's no added sugar on there, just the espresso vanilla and the cinnamon. Then I'm weighing out all of the salmon. Here is the finished results and you can tell that I'm now prepped for dinner and lunch for the next three days. Meal prep is over. I went grocery shopping. We got my weights. You guys saw my body. Basically, I'm ready to, you know, embark upon this 20 pound weight loss journey. So again, I'm going to be vlogging weekly. Um, new vlogs for my weight loss journey will go up on Sunday evenings at 
8 or 9 p.m. Eastern. I'm sorry, I can't even commit to like an actual time. I'm doing my best, you guys. <laughs> I'm doing my best. Until then, uh, let's see. Let me know if there's anything that I left out. I'll cover it on uh, next week's vlog. I hope that you enjoyed today. I'm just getting started with vlogging and really just kind of like expanding uh, what I share with you guys outside of hair. So I hope that you stay and partake in this journey and subscribe, like, comment, share with your friends until next week. Hopefully I'm one pound lighter. I'll see you guys later. Bye curl friends.